What is up everyone, Mike here, welcome to a brand new live reaction and review. It's been a hot minute since I've filmed, so I hope you all stay well, staying well, I hope you all staying safe. I'm working on uploading back footage which I filmed some time ago. The only current things I'll currently be live reacting to is this EP and the Hugh K E. P. Apart from that, anything else coming out now, I probably won't be reacting to. I'm still working on uploading some old footage, so be ready for those videos. They're coming. Sorry they're late, but they're coming. Today, we are reacting to the host EP by Dr. Ozzy. I am so, 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 so excited for this EP. If you guys have been on my channel for some time now, you know how much of a fan I am of Dr. Ozzy. I seriously think he's one of the best artists out there right now. Definitely like in the top three or top few in on Never Say Die right now. He is just an absolute master at the sounds he creates and all the energy and the way he brings so many sounds coming into songs and the way he engineers these He's just a genius. Like there's not a lot of people I'd call geniuses, but he's one of them. It's a five track EP and it's out now on Never Say Die. Before we get into the video, just a few things. Dr. Ozzy's and Never Say Die socials in the description down below. Please listen to this EP before hearing my thoughts I'm not trying to influence anyone with my thoughts they're just my thoughts and my thoughts only my socials are also in the description down below as Dr Ozzy has very kindly advertised on his EP IG night my Instagram Instagram night of base follow me there I drop live reactions and reviews <laughs> to singles there exclusive reactions which never make it to my channel thanks so much for that Nick quarantine's got me looking very messy I'm sure my beard shows that I've been busy, I'm working from home and I haven't really got the hang of it yet. It's the first time I've been working from home in the 22 years I've been on this earth. So things are a bit crazy, but bear with me, footage is coming. I think we've talked enough. We're gonna get straight into it with the first track of the EP titled Host. And I'm not connected to the speakers. Isn't that a great start? All right, all connected, let's do this. I can't explain how excited I am for this EP. Already a really cool, minimalistic intro, but with some really fun vibes already. Oh my god, the vibes, the vibes. <laughs> the vibes! I love that in the background. I'm so excited for this. Hear that change in tone. Yo! Oh my god, the drums! I love this, I love this! The drums! I love that. Ooh. Oh, the tempo changed completely. That drums on the build there were absolutely unreal. <laughs> and then the gunshots introducing the drop. These sounds here are so pretty. Like, it's a complete contrast to the drop, and I love that. I wonder how this is going to change up, even if it is. Oh, I love this drop. <laughs> the rhythm to this one is so bouncy. Oh, his sounds are so monstrous. Honestly, Dr. Ozzy once again showing off his sound design with that subtle flex. The sounds are so large. Sounds which I've never ever heard before. He's at the top of the game for that, for making really unique sounds. I really, really like that track. From the intro, you have some really nice, pretty vibes. And you're kind of expecting something really upbeat and fast paced. And then the build comes and the drums are so, so gassed by the way. The gunshots, I always love gunshots before a drop. And then a drop, the rhythm and energy for me kind of gets reeled back. And it goes to a more slower paced drop. A lot more like kind of classic rhythm, which a lot of people are doing nowadays. But it's Dr. Ozzy's unique twist in it, which keeps it fun. I feel like if anyone else done a track like that I wouldn't like that contrast between intro and the drop but because it's Dr Ozzy and because he's got his unique sounds on the drop it still works really well the sound design is absolutely class but I'm expecting this from him by now he's really made that name for himself and to be at the top of the game for that like I said before I love the whole energy throughout the intro and build I do feel like the drop even though I held back on that and it went for that more slower paced drop I wish it kind of kept that energy a little bit more in the drop. I do like that slower, harder hitting impact of the drop and the sounds in this and that snare, gosh, 
but I kind of wish it would went for a little bit more upbeat, especially maybe near the end of the drop. The train drop, very minimal, but it's very nice in certain sounds as well. As an intro to the EP, it works. Like it's very nice and slow, kind of introducing you to the to his sound design if you're new to him. The whole vibe and atmosphere to the track is absolutely beautiful. I love that. The drop, different to what I was expecting, still enjoyed it quite a lot. Just went for a slower pace what I was expecting, but still such a good, impactful track. We're gonna go to the next one titled Zap. I saw a little comment by my boy Impulse that Ozzy predicted Zap Step. You know on Spotify, the Zap Step thing? This is it. Look at the sounds. He's such a G. He's such a G. The vibes. I love all this chanting and really different stuff he adds to the song. This sounds really cool. Oh my days. <laughs> oh! I didn't even notice that drop! Oh! <laughs> Change up! Here we go! Oh! It's so sporadic! That is such a vibe. I love the intro. The samples he's used are so, so nice. Build is really good again, that drop. Maintaining that energy. The sounds are so impactful. The sound here. I love this style he's gone for. And the drop just completely changes that contrast. Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> I love the rhythm to this one, man. Oh my. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days. That one is so, so sick. You know, this one almost feels quite different for him. I listen to a lot of Dr. Ozzy tracks and I'm trying to recall if he's having a track like this and it sounds really different. Even though it sounds so different, it's still bringing up so much heat. It definitely has that standard Dr. Ozzy stamp on with the samples at the start. The intro is very him and it's such a sick vibe. And then that build, well just before the build, you have that quite minimalist with just the samples and that kind of those drums or those sounds and the drop, oh my days. Again, a lot more slower pace, but so impactful. The sounds are unbelievable. And the whole rhythm, the dun, 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 it's so sick. And then the change up near the end, especially the last change up, the Oh my God. I am really looking forward to a bit more of an upbeat, energetic track from him. And I know we're gonna get it in this DP, but these two so far, they've gone for his more slower paced rhythm, but they've both been so impactful and so, so good. They've worked just great. Such a vibe. And the sounds in that, oh my God. Let's go to the third track of the EP titled, Play It Back Again. <laughs> I was just checking Discord, yeah? <laughs> Have I said the vibes every song so far? Because the vibes. I love how crazy this sounds. Very sporadic again. The samples are so gas. That build. That build. Oh my god, I'm so gas for this one. Ooh. I feel like I want to get up and dance to this already. This is exactly what I meant from energy. The energy this is so good, the samples throughout. Keeping the vibe fun, keeping the vibe exciting, the drop is so gassed. This... I don't know what to say. Oh. 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 The samples are perfect. Look at the sound. This is so sick. 
The songs are so good. It's so energetic, it's so fun, it's so upbeat. And we're getting one more drop, we're getting one more drop. This sounds good, I love that fake up. Oh! for the end of the track. Five thirty AM. I should turn it down. Oh my days. That is a vibe from zero 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 to whatever this track ends on. It's so exciting. The energy infused in this track is unbelievable. It's infectious. From the start, you have that quite like, you have silence and then the sample kicks in and it's so vibe. You saw about my reaction and then the whole track from there just goes crazier and crazier and more fun and more fun and just keeps on getting sicker it's so exciting that match might be one of my favorite aussie tracks it's so energetic and so fun the sound design changes throughout each drop unreal i actually don't have much bad to say about that track in fact i can't think of anything bad to say about that track that's like a perfect track i love the energy in that it's so fun that is just an infectious track i was saying to the first two tracks i really like them but i wish they had that more upbeat energy which i know dr ozzy does and that track had more than of the energy than I was expecting. That track had like all three tracks energy confused, but I can't, <sighs> I can't speak. Wow. I can't see a track being better than that, but I'm sure they're gonna be better than that because it's Dr. Ozzy. We're gonna go to the fourth track titled Artillery, like artillery. I love the slow, spooky atmosphere to this. Is this one gonna go for that more slow pace again? Look at these sounds, man. He's an a master at creating an atmosphere. And that atmosphere is gonna change. I love the vibe. I said it again. Oh, for f oh. Oh my god! I gotta pause. Those sounds are so... I gotta unpause. They're so tight. Look, I don't know what direction this track is taking. Jeez! This one is baffling because I kind of felt I got the groove of it. But <laughs> the groove kept changing. Like different sounds were coming in from different places. And it's so hard to keep up, but I love that. It just keeps you engaged, keeps you surprised the whole time. Let's see what the next drop's like. What the f <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. When's the last time you heard sounds like this on Never Say... Oh. Never. That's the answer. This is nuts. This is nuts. The intro is so minimal. The sounds are so slow, eerie. So eerie. And then it builds and it just changes again. And I kind of expect that change in atmosphere by now, but this one's just nuts. Like, sound design's coming in from all over the place and it's just change up constantly, constantly, constantly. It's so hard to keep up and it's so sick for that because you're always engaged. You never know what's coming. It's songs like this which make me love doing React channels because I'll never get this first experience, first shock again because I kind of expect the changes to come. Before getting into this, I don't know what changes are coming. I don't know at all. But to capture that on camera, I love it because like I said, I'll never react to this track again, how I did that, because it's baffling. And now I know the change up's coming. Wow, the sound design there is amazing. I've never heard Dr. Ozzy do sounds like that, especially in the second drop. That high, it wasn't even high pitched, but it kind of was. That squeal of a sound was so, so good. At times, it almost reminds me of Moody Good sound design, that very tight, fast pace. 
very snappy, kind of like a band, rubber bandish type of sound design. It's, if that makes sense to any of you, it's very tight and concise. I don't know what it's called, but it's great. I love the contrast with the drop and the intro here. I love that whole eerie vibe. Another really solid track. Even if I hate the track next, this is still probably already one of my favorite EPs on Never Say Die in a very long time because that was absolutely great. The last track of the EP is the promo to me, IG Night. Follow me on Instagram, Night of Bass. It's actually Ignite, if you couldn't tell. It's got nothing to do with me, but. We like to pretend it does. Looks like we're going for that more really energetic vibe for this one. I love the sound here. It's so exciting and so pretty almost. Wow. This is giving me like must I vibes with the intro. The vibe changing again. Wow. This is sounding epic. <laughs> I'm so gassed. Wow. wow! Oh, this one again. You just want to get up and dance. This one's giving me Zilla Bounce vibes, to be honest. Oh my god, bringing him back to that older style from him. That is so gassed. Oh my days, the vibes. I said it again now. I really <laughs> didn't mean to say it. But wow, this is so energetic again from the start. And our first draft, having that side trance, really upbeat vibe, and then changing it to that kind of old school bro step type of style is so gassed. I don't even know what to expect for this drop. Oh my god, he's like infused both drops together. My pen's falling off as well. I... <laughs> this is like everything I want in a track. It may as well be my track. Listen, even though it's not canon to the Dr. Ozzy law, it's canon in my head that this song was written for me. So, my head canon. Add it to your night of bass law because this is my theme tune now. What an amazing track. Like, it's so fun. It's so fun. The vibes in this one are so, so good. Look at the start, look. The start, you have those really fun, pretty vibes, which give me an almost must i -esque type of intro. And then the build, the whole atmosphere changes. And our first drop, that side trance extra drop is so gassed. Mad to the bounce vibes. It's so bouncy. And then, that sick change up. Very reminiscent to his older sound. I love that he infused that in there. That is genius. What a gas track. And then the second drops, just keep that energy and double it on his head. He kind of infused both drops into one. And then that last drop, giving us those same classic Aussie sounds, but even better and larger and grander. Wow, it's hard to decide if I like IG Night or play it back again more. That's very hard. It, ugh, I don't know. I don't really know. I love that he's mixed some faster paced tracks and some also slower paced tracks into this one EP, the host EP. It's gonna be one of those EPs for me which I can see myself bumping for years, like legit years. Blueprint EP from Dr. Ozzy also has that effect on me. Even last year, the Demons in Denial, like, Wow, I can't tell you the amount of times I've re-listened to that EP. It's huge. It's a huge EP. And this one is just as good. He's released a few singles in between that EP and every track has been flawless. Dr. Ozzy, I still stick by what I said, is truly one of the best producers out right now. And he is just great. There's not much bad to say about his style because he mixes his energy with unique sounds. Some artists only have one one nailed down. Unique energy or sa unique sounds or energy but he's got both and if he's got that he's a 
beast to be played with because that was so, so good. Admittedly, I do like the more upbeat tracks like IG Night and Play It Back Again. I still really like Host, Zap and Artillery, don't get me wrong, but that's just my personal preference. I love that boppy, vibey, bouncy, almost dancey feel to some of his songs. It's so, so fun. It's one of those tracks where you just vibe to with mates. Oh, so good. I adored that EP. It was everything I wanted and delivered even more. I love that we got five completely different sounding tracks from him. That's big, that's huge, and I love it for that. What a polished and amazing EP. I'm so, so happy to see Ozzy releasing again on Never Say Die with an EP as well. Can't wait to see what else he does with singles and more EPs and more stuff to come because this guy is pumping out content and he works really hard and quick thing actually little Dr. Ozzy appreciation post if you're not in his discord I'm going to advertise it in the description actually go join because they do he does streams oh this is really bad now I want to say two a week am I right two or three a week Weekly! Weekly! He's making tracks and live streaming every week. He does music reviews and also and production streams and also playing games. So maybe that's three. I can't remember. But anyway, please go check him out because he's doing lots for the scene and he's helping a lot of coming up and coming producers given his talent, given his time, given his wisdom. I really, really rate him for that. He's doing a great job. He's doing his part for the scene and I really... Really love that. And he's just an all-round nice guy, man. I mean, what a guy. Look at this gif of him. Look at this gif. What a gangster. I am going to give that EP a strong 8.5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm really sorry for the slow uploads over this month. I will try and be back on it very soon. This whole COVID stuff has just got me moving a little bit mad. Remember to follow my Instagram for exclusive live reactions and reviews to singles. There's some really good singles there. You can click the little IGTV button and see my single all together there. There's a few more if you scroll right down to the bottom of the feed. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, lots of love. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this EP in the comment sections down below. And thanks for all the support and love during these times. I will catch you guys very soon. Peace out. We get down to the rhythm of the groove.